it's Gil McNeil. Welcome to Brooklyn, Brooklyn Gardens. It is uh, March 26th and spring is here and things are happening all over the nursery. We're going to show you around a few things so stay, stay with me as we travel through and we'll uh, see some interesting things. So I'm standing by a table that has bonsai that I've been working on. I don't consider myself a bonsai expert, but I find myself just gravitating to it. There's so much information there, horticulturally, that works well with what I do, with the conifers, with the maples, with other types of trees as well. So I've started doing some styling myself, and I have friends that are in the clubs and they are styling their plants and have collections and Max behind the camera is one of them. Um, Adam, um, another, and Katie that helped me out the Flower and Garden show recently and other folks as well. And then the most requests I get are for the bonsai. So I have more entry level type bonsai, things I'm working on, things that Adam's working on. Also Max has a couple of his um, plants here and we're doing a variety of things, things in small pots. I'm doing some forest, this is a vine maple. Natives are getting more popular all the time and vine maple is a native to Washington State and it has a, a nice small leaf, smaller smaller type leaf. And, and um, so we've got that um, forest and then just things in small pots. And one thing to remember if you want an entry level these things do take water, usually daily water, and if it gets warm in the summer, that's the you know the secret of keeping these things alive. So, but they're nice to have, and they're what I have here is all outdoor bonsai. One of the most asked questions I get is, can I put this um, tree into into my house? And I say, there are some things, there are indoor bonsai, but these aren't the ones. So you just make sure you know what what you're getting and um, grow it accordingly, whether it's outside or inside. The inside would be more tropical type plants. So I set up a nice assortment of plants here in the greenhouse. I've got the Northwest Perennial Lions coming to the nursery on Monday and Saturday today. Those are just an assortment of plants. It may be raining that day, so I wanted to uh, have a uh, cover space where they could look at plants as well as uh, all the outdoor stuff that we have available. So there's just a number of uh, individual plants here and just different pines. And I've got some of my Chief Joseph's. Um, uh, here's a nice shore pine, which is a dwarf to um, dwarf pine of the shore pine, uh, spawns dwarf it's called, and just threw in a few things like this uh, Pieris, which is in bloom right now, and just put it on the table. Uh, a nice spruce, one of my, a blue spruce, a Colorado blue spruce called Blue Pearl, which stays low in mounding, that's a very, very nice plant. Um, Something that's not a conifer, but it's a, a very nice plant is called uh, um, Stuardia pseudocamellia. And it's uh, the attractive part of that is it has nice peeling bark and has a camellia like flower and small leaves and fairly narrow, not narrow, narrow, but, um, but um, a, a fairly narrow type growing tree. So, just a oh, here's a tree I want to show you. This has been, I've been growing this tree for 20 years. And it's, it's only probably even from the from the bottom of the where the root where the, the, the trunk starts. It's not much over a foot, maybe a foot and a half at the most. And it's an alpine fir called Duflon, and it only grows a half an inch or less a year. So you can see what a um, you know a very interesting plant is and hard to find in the trade. I've grafted a few of those. That, um, and a few Japanese maples along with the hinokis that I have. I have a variety of hinokis. So that, though, the, the folks that are coming here on Monday will have a selection here. 
And actually, as we're standing right here, I'll just show you. I didn't do as much grafting as I thought I would get done this year, but this is uh, what I have. There's about 300 um, grafts here that are all tinted up in their humidity atmosphere here, and they uh, I'll be taking them out in the next few weeks or so, especially the older ones, the ones I did earlier on in the year. So uh, a nice group of plants. I intended to do about a thousand and didn't get to that. Just um, with more of my interest in um, shifting plants up and then the bon more of the bonsai um, that's been coming along, that's been taking up a lot of my time as well. Thank you for joining us today and uh, hope you enjoy the video and there's more coming so be sure to uh, keep tuned in and subscribe to our channel if you give it a thumbs up that really helps and we're just about the top a thousand subscribers which I know it's not we're not in the large groups but we uh, we have a certain amount of people who do follow us and I want to keep that going and uh, just have you know introduce people to the different types of conifers and maples and all kinds of plants and bonsai that we were talking about. So again, be sure to um, subscribe and we will see you next time. Thanks for joining us.